Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today we're going to be doing a P.O. Box opening. So, let's get started. Oh, also, before we start, I found this today while pop hunting around, and this right here is the Jay and Silent Bob Reboot Iron Bob. This was found over at Sunrise Records, and if you're from Canada, I recommend picking this one up. And I know this one was exclusive to FYE in the US, but here in Canada, I guess it didn't come out till right now, so if you wanted this one, Sunrise Records just got it in. All right, guys, so let's get into the packages. So there are four of them here today. Hmm, I don't know which one to start with. There's one that I ordered, and then three that you guys sent over. Let's start with my package. And this package right here is from Box Lunch. Now, a little thing with Box Lunch is you can't pre-order stuff and then send it to Canada because they just won't accept my card. So I have to wait till it's in stock and sometimes stuff sells out and then doesn't restock. But for this figure here, I was lucky enough that it actually stayed in stock long enough that I could order it from Box Lunch and I'm really excited to see what this figure looks like. Oh, I also forgot that I ordered some mystery minis, so we'll show those off in a second. But the figure that I ordered is this one right here. Now, I am really excited to see what this looks like. This is a pretty funny figure. I'm so glad that Funko made it, but it is, you guys, ready for this here we go three two one it is pizza parker now it's not technically called pizza parker this is just spider-man but he's in his pizza outfit now this one reminds me of the game where one of these side quests was the pizza parker where you had to deliver a pizza to a house so i thought this was pretty funny that funko did make this one and i really like the way this one looks especially with the box i think the box is a really cool color i like that light blue with like a darker blue i also want to see what that web looks like because it looks like he's like flinging himself through the air with the uh, spider webs there so i want to see what this thing looks like out of the box Oh yeah, wow, look at that. So I've never seen a web like this done on a Funko Pop. It's also kind of, uh, what's the word? Ooh, wait, hold on, maybe that's just my figure. I was gonna say it's kind of wobbly, but it looks like it's actually coming out of the hand a bit. Ooh, I'll show you guys that one there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but you guys see there, it looks like the hand is almost separated from the figure, which is not good. I'm wondering if I can fix that, just to even push it in a little bit. Um, I'm not too sure. I want to be careful with it though. I don't want to break the figure, so I'm not going to do it right now. But I mean, when it's in box, you would never know. It's just too bad that it's like that. Another thing that I really like about this figure though that I just noticed is the pizza flying out of the box. I think it's really cool. So it almost looks like he's flying like really quickly through the air. And I really like that Funko captured this in a figure. And because this figure is Marvel, it does have to be a bobblehead. So it kind of sucks, but after a while you get used to it. But anyways, guys, besides the hand kind of coming out of the body, I think the figure looks great. And as soon as you pop it back in the box, you would never know that the hand is detached like that, so it's completely fine. But let's get on to the mystery minis, and I'm realizing now that I do have maybe... It might just be one of the sets. I'll have to check in a second, but I think it's just one set that I already bought and I forgot that I ordered it from Box Lunch, and it was this one right here. This is the Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. I don't think this is an exclusive one. No, it's not. This is just the common set again. So I do have this one already, but at least I don't have these three, which is the Fantastic Four set, which is really cool. I don't know if we ever opened up a case of these. We might have opened up a couple like random ones, but never like a full set of 12. And then I also have the Birds of Prey one here, which I do not own. That is great. It's too bad that they put those stickers on there but because it is the shrink wrap I should be able to get that off not too bad so there's the birds of prey one and then last but not least we have this one right here which is from the solo film and this one's pretty cool too it also has the different rarities that are not all 1 in 12 so that's a plus also in case you guys are wondering these stickers on the sorters come off oh, one more try and in case you guys are wondering these stickers on the sorters come off Pretty good. Okay, that that was that was pretty satisfying. <laughs> All right, guys. So next up, we're going to be going on to this package right here. Now, this one is coming in from Evan or YouTube's underscore photo on Instagram. And actually, he told me that he didn't send a letter in the package because his printer wasn't working. So I have his letter that he DM'd me. And it says, hey, I heard about your video with the mystery minis and I wanted to help you out because you provide so much entertainment for me every day and I love that you're starting to collect U2s. I myself have been collecting them for a while now. Anyways, I love watching your videos and can't wait for you to get more U2s. I love your what's in the box videos, your U2s and videos with Libby. I have heard so much love for you in the community and I know if you get your own U2s, it will sell very well. Keep up the great work, man. Well, Evan, thank you so much for the kind words. Now, let's see which mystery mini you sent over. All right, so now that we are inside, let's see which which one he had sent over. Okay, so this is exciting. I remember he told me, but I don't know which one it was. I think it was something to do with Five Nights at Freddy's, and I do not have this one. I remember, oh, oh, oh yes, this is what it was. Okay, so this is the Five Nights at Freddy's Pizza Simulator, and I think these are the black light ones, or just the, it's the glow figures. I don't know, I don't remember this set ever, so it's really great that Evan can grab this for me. 
All right, guys, now this next package that we have here is coming in from Christian or Blind Pops on Instagram. Now, this one's kind of funny. I had messaged them or commented on their Instagram photo saying I loved the Chuck E. Cheese Pez, but then they said they had two of them and wanted to send one over. So, Christian, thank you so much for helping me out with that one. But you guys can see there, if you want to follow them on Instagram, it is Blind Pops. Now, it feels a little bit heavier than just one Pez, so I'm wondering what could be inside of here. All right, guys, so now that we are inside, I also just noticed this is a sorter. So this is actually a great size to ship Pez in because it's probably right about the same height as the box. So let's see what, holy crap. Sorry, guys, excuse my language there, but this was really exciting. Sorry, anyways, let's get started with the first thing here because I haven't seen any of these before. All right, guys, so the first Pez that Christian had sent over is this one right here. Now, this is the Witch Pez. Now, this one also does glow in the dark. You can tell by the color of the the stem and the way it looks. Maybe the face also glows in the dark as well. I'm not too sure. We'd have to test it out. But this one right here looks really great. I also really like the holiday ones and I like the pets when they put like decals on the side here. So you can see there's two bats on the stem on each side. And now guys, speaking of decals on the stem, this one right here is also really cool. Now I have another one from the set, which is the Bugs Bunny as a cowboy. And now we have this one as well. This is the Daffy Duck as the film producer or director, I would say. And he's got like the camera on the stem as well as the film real. I don't know guys, just overall, this one is really, really well done. And this is an older one as well. I think this one came out in the 90s, I wanna say. I don't know, I don't see a date on it. If I could find a date, I would totally let you guys know. But this is probably from like the late 80s, early 90s. All right, now this next one here, guys, looks really great. So this is an older one again, and this is more of like a vintage Smurf one because this is before all of the new Smurf movies came out. So you can tell this one was based off of one of the older cartoons. And I think this came out in the 90s. Yeah, this one says 1990. So this one is really old as well. Also, I really do like that fluorescent like neon yellow kind of stem It almost looks like a highlighter and you don't see that very often on the new ones now Here is another weird one I remember looking this one up because I couldn't find out where this one was from because I had seen this one on the Pez website a long time ago So it is really cool that now I get to see this one in person and I'm pretty sure this one was from the Pink Panther It sounds about right, but this one here is the anteater from Pink Panther um, You guys can see there it's got the huge head on this one. I think it's one of the biggest heads I've seen on a Pez in a while. I also really like the orange stem. Kind of reminds me of the fluorescent yellow one that we just talked about with the Smurf. But yeah, this one looks really great and it's very tall and very obscure. I just want to make sure that this one actually was from the Pink Panther. So I went on New Pez's website and this is the one from the Pink Panther and it came out the same year as the Smurf in 1997. Now guys, next up here, we have one that's pretty cool and I've again never seen this one in person. This one here is a Charlie Brown one and this one looks really great. I also like how they matched the baseball cap to go with the stem color. I think that looks really great. It's funny, I normally think of Charlie Brown with that yellow and black t-shirt, but I guess Pez was feeling pretty blue that day. All right guys, now this one here that I found is really neat. So this one here is droopy, and what I like about this one is that it's actually a couple different pieces of plastic instead of just painted different colors. And I think that really does show that it is a little bit older. If I were to guess, I don't know. It says it's from 1980, I think it is. It's a little bit dark, I can't tell. It's either 1980 or 1988, but whatever it is, it's still really old. And I remember guys, just a little while ago, I was looking up stuff to see what was considered vintage and anything 20 years or older is vintage. So all of these, I think go into that category. Now guys, there's this one here that was wrapped up in more tissue paper. So I'm wondering what this one is. We haven't seen the Chuck E. Cheese one yet. So I'm guessing this is what it could be. Let's see here. It is. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, this is really neat. I'm a huge fan of this one. I've never seen, again, never seen the Chuck E. Cheese one in person before. I don't know how you could have obtained this one. This might have been just one that you could buy or you might have had to have won this one from going to Chuck E. Cheese. I'm not too sure, but whatever it is, it looks really amazing. And if any of you guys are wondering, this one came out in 2010. Okay guys, so sorry, I just lifted off the tissue paper on the inside because I thought I saw something at the bottom and looks like there's another Pez down here. Now this is part of the Pez Pets line and I'm pretty sure this is the Chipmunk. And I've never seen one of these out of the box before because I have one, but it's in box at home. I think it's the Penguin. And this one right here looks really cool. And the neat thing about this one is, is it's not the normal Pez that you put inside. You actually put gum. And I think you just push down on this right here. Yeah, you do. So as you push down on it, you can fill it with more gum. So this is a pretty weird one that I've never seen out of the box before. Oh, there was also a letter in the bottom. So let me read it real quick. It says, hey Tristan, hope you like the extra Pez I sent you. Also, check out my channel on YouTube at Blind Pops. Thanks for following me on Instagram. Best wishes, Selena. 
It said Christian on the outside of the box. That is not my fault. <laughs> well, anyway, sorry about the slip up, but thank you so much for all the pads. Now, I also noticed there's a couple more things in the bottom of the box, which is this right here. Now, these are made of perler beads. I used to make these all the time when I was younger, but this one right here is a surprised Pikachu, and this looks really, really great. Then I also noticed one more thing, which is the Blind Pop stickers, and both of these also look amazing. Anyways, thank you so much for the Pez because these are definitely going to be going on my shelf with the rest of my collection. All right guys, so we're now on to our last package here and I have no clue what is inside of this one as well, so let's just crack it open. All right guys, so now that we are inside, I do see a letter, so let's read that first. So much for sending this over. Now let's check out what you sent. Oh, hold on guys, there's some art that he sent over. So it's got the Top Pops logo there, as well as me, and then it also says Top Pops at the bottom there. All right guys, now let's check out what he had sent over. So this here was sent over for my mom and this is the Joy keychain from inside out and I know she's gonna love this. Now you also said you had sent over some Pokemon cards for Noah so it must be the ones inside of this tin right here. So these are the Pokemon tins. This one's got Charizard on the front and I actually don't own any of these so it is really cool that we finally have one of these. And I know this is going to Noah so I will be giving this to him. Don't worry I'm not gonna keep the tin um, but you guys can see there also is some other Pokemon on the back there. So it's got Mew, Psyduck, Dragonite, Mewtwo, Vulpix, Pikachu as well as Charmander. It actually is a really cool photo. All right, so this is pretty neat. So this seems to be one of those cards that you get for getting the tin, and it is a Charizard card, and then it tells you a couple stats about him on the other side. So that is some really great art. And then he also sent over a couple Pokemon cards for Noah, which are Psyduck, and then we also have the Psychic Energy. We've got the Gloom there. Here we have, which one is this one? This one is Marshadow. Oh, this is neat. So this is part of the World Championship deck 2019. So if you guys have never seen this before, it's got the silver border and then it also has this on the back of the cards. Then guys, another card from the World Championship deck here is the Dedene GX. This has some really great art on it. And then guys, last but not least, we have Heliolisk. Now this is actually for the set that I collect, which is Cosmic Eclipse. I think I do have this one, but I don't know if Noah does. All right guys, now let's check out what Landon sent over for the Funko Pop, because honestly, I've got no clue. So here we go, guys. Oh, shoot, is it really? Okay, this is cool. Okay, so this is the King Bugs Bunny that is only at Target. I cannot order from Target because we are stuck here in Canada and I can't go to the States. So Landon, this was very, very helpful. Thank you so much for sending this over. This is part of the brand new Looney Tunes 80th anniversary set. And yeah, I could not order this one anywhere. Wow, Landon, thank you so much for helping me out with this one because honestly, you have no clue how hard it is to get this one in Canada. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you to everybody that sent over packages because we got some really amazing stuff today. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed and if you guys wanna see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been another episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow.